Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share some tips on how to travel with necklaces and earrings or how do I do it. So I tend to travel with four kinds of earrings, even though I use like the same two every single time. No, I'm just kidding. But I travel with this statement necklace. Then I travel with the necklace that has like the big charm on it. I travel with the delicate necklace. And this one is not delicate in the sense that this chain is super thin. It's delicate in the sense that it's like vintage one. This used to be my grandma's. So if the chain breaks, I think game's over for this one. And then the multi-layer necklace. I actually did this one and I love how this looks but it gets tangled by itself. Almost only by looking at it, it tangles. So out of this four kinds of necklaces, I think the last two need the most help. This tip is for when you don't have a jewelry travel case or bag. Since I don't really travel that much, this is the bag that I use. So for my statement necklace, I always just fold it into itself like this, being really careful not to break it obviously. These kinds of necklaces tend to be really big they go by themselves. From other, like more delicate pieces, I do these kinds of homes for them with some round cotton pads and some cotton balls. So I just undo my cotton ball and then fold it again twice. So it's this kind of like long shape as opposed to a round one. And yeah, it's as simple as making a wrap kind of like shape with my cotton balls and my cotton pads. So, and my necklaces are going to go around it like so. To place everything, my statement necklace is already in, so I'm just going to be placing this tree. These are just like examples. I usually travel with way more necklaces than this, and the whole bag ends up full of cotton. I want to share with you how my earrings travel with me. I do have one of those drawstring bags. The one that I use for my earrings is velvet, just because I feel like this kinds of bags in this kind of material work better for jewelry. I do have a DIY showing you how to make this kinds of bags, by the way. My earrings go in like this. I don't do anything extra with them. Mine are mostly custom, by the way. I made most of this. But if you have fine earrings or actual crystals or something, maybe pack them in like mini bags. And then inside a big bag, close my bag, fold it in half. And this pretty much depends on how many earrings you have. This a folding method works good for me because I travel with earrings, but they're not as many. Then wrap it. And then I place it inside the other bag. And here I'm just going to show you how this looks after you land it and you open your jewelry. I'm shaking this way more than what I always hope they actually do on like airports and planes. There's no like cotton in them or anything like that. Ever since I started packing with this method, never have I ever ended up rocking a piece of like cotton on my necklaces. But yeah, these are the tips that I want to share with you. I know a lot of people are traveling home for Christmas and for the holidays and I think a lot of us want to travel with jewelry and I really hope these tips and tricks were helpful. Let me know down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later, Merry Christmas and take care, bye!